flight attendants, I need my water now. Oh my gosh, I'm dehydrated. What's going on back there? Three, two, one. Take a big and nice inhale right now and you'll feel yourself start passing out. Since you guys liked that last video of me training pilots, I'm gonna be now training flight attendants today. How exciting. And I'm gonna be training them in this questionable plane here. So honestly, I may or may not have overbooked today. So we have a lot of people. I still really don't think we can all fit them in this plane. All right, hello flight attendants. I will be teaching you guys today. This is how you board an aircraft. Um, this one just specifically. Um, you're gonna go ahead and jump up here. This one's a little bit different. Oh, wow. Okay, see, they are new to this. We don't wanna judge them. Okay, I'm gonna have to lift them up. That's fine. Um, let's see. Yeah, we should have more than enough seats. Okay, not getting up is one thing, but please stop pushing the plane. Oh, wow. These people are really on something. Okay, well, we're gonna start setting them down since they can't make up their mind down there. Holy cow, they're really pushing this thing. Takeoff is gonna be interesting today. Uh, I feel like we may or may not hit one of the sides of the hangar here uh, once we actually start taxiing, but uh, anyways, let's get this over with. Unfortunately, we do have this lady on board today. Um, if you guys are familiar with her, her name is Debbie. She's normally the cause of a lot of issues, we'll just say. Let's go ahead and set uh, one of our last people down here and uh, pick that guy up. Uh, oh, oh gosh. Okay, I thought that didn't work for a second. Honestly, wouldn't have surprised me, but um, let's see, where should this guy sit? Uh, there's really only one seat left. <laughs> How about, um, no, that's not happening. Um, You know, he can be back there and, you know, he can just listen to us through the door here. Uh, we're gonna go and take this thing off. I don't know what kind of plane this is, but um, supposedly it's a plane. Let's see, it's an Arctic desert. Okay, I don't even know. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just uh put full throttle on both engines. Oh wait, I forgot there's breakers for this thing. Yeah, this this plane's very concerning. Um, flight attendants, whatever you do, do not flip those things right there. Literally, that means we will lose all power, especially if we're in the air. So there we go. We got the lights on. We got everything. Um, is it starting to rain outside? Oh no. Well, that shouldn't be an issue because this is made for that. Okay, so we're full throttle on both engines. Let's go ahead and actually start them up here. So there we go. We will be taking off here. Oh wow. Oh, we're really going the wrong direction. Okay, so um, I'm a pilot. It's fine. You can take off wherever you want as a pilot. Uh, as a flight attendant, you guys are required to listen to the pilot. That's basically all you guys are here for. So let's go ahead and actually run through some processes right now. So let's just say I want a bottle of water. What would you do in this situation if your pilot asked for a bottle of water when we're at this type of, you know, incline? Well, in my flying experiences, the flight attendant would go ahead and walk up the aisle and actually give me the bottle of water. So how about what do you guys go do that? Um, hello? Is anyone going to grab me a bottle of water? I feel like this is totally fine. Okay, let's put the landing gear up. This is kind of annoying. Um, Let's see. Flight attendants, can you guys help me find the landing gear button? I have no clue where it's at. Maybe the command switch? Uh, No? What in the world? What kind of crap is this? Okay, well, I don't know what we're flying right now. Gear down yet. Okay, well, then how do I put it up? Flight attendants, I need my water now. Oh my gosh, I'm dehydrated. What's going on back there? Okay, you know what? I'm going to level this thing out, and I'm literally going to go crazy back there. People are going to start going overboard here. Um, you know, speaking of issues, I've just lost the majority control of the plane. Like, my pitch is not working. Oh, wait, maybe because I clicked the command switch. Okay, there we go. All right, awesome. All right, we're going to level this thing out here. I'm going to try walking around. Um, Where's this landing gear button at? I'm really actually concerned right now. Uh, Thermostat. What? Okay, so there's a thermostat button, but not a landing gear button. Got it. Uh, Flight attendant, you guys mind helping me? Here, I'm going to pick someone up. Uh, Deb, here, you know, Debbie, sure. All right, Debbie, help me find this stupid button. I don't know where it's at, Uh, Captain. Get out of the way. Oh. Oh gosh, this is bad. Okay, we're starting to nosedive. Please get back in your seat. You guys gotta listen here. Open your ears. We're starting to nosedive, but we are like a couple thousand feet above the ground, so it shouldn't be that bad. I'm still looking for it. This is very concerning. I don't think we need the ignition on, actually, since we're already in the air here, so we should be fine on that regard, right? We're still flying? Uh, yeah, looks good enough. Okay. Um, flight attendants, flight attendants, please listen up here. This is the start of your training process, including you in the back. Uh, is there damage back there? What in the world? What are you doing back there, buddy? Okay, we're we're definitely going down right now um start pulling up here oh our engines okay so we do need ignition on see that's something you guys should have known you guys should have taken your captain's test here oh that's really bad so it does look like one of the engines did not want to start there oh my gosh oh i feel really bad for that guy standing up back there mayday mayday we're going down um i need the atc controller on speaker here okay i think we've recovered it desperately dude this plane is very interesting it's built interestingly which means it's gonna fly even more interesting okay maybe it's this button right here flat Okay, I really don't believe that would be it, but um, is it putting the landing gear? It's starting to actually angle us up. Yep, yeah, nope, that's not it. Well, as you can see, it's looking worse and worse out here as we speak, flight attendants. So that's when you're going to want to go ahead and 
turn on the seatbelt sign and start blasting country music there in the aisle so people get the vibe that we're going for on my type of flight. So go ahead and do that for me. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, look at this. Yep, that, I like that. You're standing right in the middle. That's perfect. Awesome. That's really great for scenery. Let's go ahead and grab some first aid here just in case your captain hits his head while flying or maybe even you right here. I don't know. That's probably a larger possibility. Grab some glow sticks just in case we do a crash land. I mean, um, you know, a landing, a normal land. Okay, I just realized something. The landing gears can't even go upwards. That's also... Wait, can they? It does look like they can. Okay, never mind. I was, I was confused there for a second. They can go upwards. I'm just kind of tripping out here as a captain, but that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and turn off landing lights. Those are leg. Well, if I had to take a guess here, there's probably a set altitude that the landing gear goes up at. So we're just going to go ahead and start our descent here, or ascent. I don't know, whatever you call it. But um, hopefully the landing gear automatically goes up. Uh, if I had to take a guess, that should be exactly what's happening here. Flight attendant at the back. How's it going? Uh, can I see you back there? Uh, hello, how are you doing? Oh, yeah, this is pretty fun. Um, is this it right here? Toggle button. Uh, what is that? I don't know. Did it put the landing gear up? No. So we've clicked about every button in this thing, and it's still really not working. Hey, look, that's the runway we uh, took off from. If you look towards the right side of the plane right now, after we just pulled like seven G-forces trying to do that. Flight attendants, please tell all passengers it is totally fine for them right now to be going to the bathroom. We are at our cruising altitude of, let's see, well, we're rising still, but we're still at a cruising altitude of around 40,000 feet and climbing. So just, you know, it's fine. Tell them to walk around, do whatever. That also means you guys can start going around with that stupid cart and have fun with it because I'm literally about to pull the hardest turns ever. Hold on, is this snowing? Okay, it's starting to snow. We're about at that altitude. Um, That's good. That's good. It's better for the engines. I've heard it, uh, we get better fuel mileage or whatever, which is very needed on my types of flights because we're like pinching pennies right now just trying to book this one. Matter of fact, talking about pinching pennies, none of you guys are getting paid for this training. This is all unpaid just to make that clear. Yep, I have no, you guys, none of you guys are on payroll. And I'm sorry if you expected to be paid today, but we do actually have an exit on board today. So if you want, oh, okay, I did not actually mean that. Uh, I almost just took someone overboard, but um, uh, I'm not joking. Literally, if you want to get off, you totally can. I'm fine with it. We have a little bit too much people in here. Uh, what, do the, what does this do? Is this like an oxygen thing? Oh, pressure bypass. Oh yeah, let's just completely decompressurize the cabin. Wait, is that the fuel valve? What in the world? Okay, I'm actually kind of concerned on what type of valve I've just opened because I'm actually starting to smell gas inside of the cabin here. Why are you guys standing up? Hello, the seatbelt sign's on. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. I want to go sightseeing, so we're going to be starting our descent here. I know, I'm sorry, this is a little bit of a last moment's notice there, but I want to see what's going on down in this desert. I heard there's UFOs going on, and I think there's a something called Area 51 around here, so we're going to go ahead and check out whatever that is. Sorry about the turbulence, y'all. We're going through a patch right now. Flight attendants, please get everyone in their seats. We're just having a mild amount of turbulence. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Hold up. Oh, wow. They're really going crazy back there. Uh, y'all, could y'all please? Oh, oh, oh gosh. They're slowly starting to go towards us. Hello, y'all. Please get back in your seat. Oh, hello. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. You guys don't listen at all around here. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, um, I wish this landing gear could go up so I could fly a little bit lower, but I guess not. You know, actually, I think the propellers and the landing gear are at about the same height, so the landing gear really should just help us from not hitting the ground and just turning into a very expensive lawnmower, we'll just say. But, um, let's go ahead and we are starting our descent here. It's a little bit rainy. You could, you guys can kind of smell that rain smell outside before a rainstorm. We're just going to line it up with the shadow here uh, just to make sure we don't actually end up hitting the ground here. So start pulling up. Start flaring it. Okay. Uh, I think you say flaring on a landing, but, um, you know, you can flare whenever you want. Anyways, as you can see, there's a giant volcano here in front of us. Oh, I think there's a little bit of a city over here. Okay. I'm going to be diverting our course a little bit. Oh, gosh. This thing is literally feels like I'm flying a piece of paper airplane in the sky right now. So this is a city over here. I've lived over here for 250 plus years as you guys know it here in star mark so if you guys look to the right side of the plane right now you can actually see my hometown right there yep i know it's very exciting and then to the starboard side of us right now you can actually see the red mountains flight attendants do you guys see all that over there yep get prepared because this is gonna be your regular flight with me i do go sightseeing whenever i want really such an awesome job so i get paid to go sightseeing fly planes crash planes sink boat i no not both of those but um you know it's pretty fun and I know a lot of you guys are scared of water, but in case of a water landing, this is the river right here. 
that we'd likely do it in. So let's just prepare for that right now. If you guys look outside your windows, this is exactly what it would be like if we were about to go for a water landing. Just to let you guys know, the seat in front of you does not float. So don't even think about ripping that off of that poor person in front of you. And as you can see in front of us here, we have a giant volcano. That is just pretty awesome looking. We're gonna scale it right now and hopefully we don't get melted. Oh, we almost just hit the volcano. Oh, that is so beautiful. Look at this, y'all. We got a giant volcano here. We're just gonna fly through the smoke. Everybody, three, two, one. Take a big and nice inhale right now and you'll feel yourself start passing out. Isn't that such an amazing feeling? Okay, let's actually not go in there. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, flight attendants, that you guys had to go through that. Hey, flight attendants, that's your main issue. You're not supposed to listen when I say the inhale part. That's only for the passengers so we can get them to shut up for the rest of the flight. You guys need to listen. Oh my gosh, these flight attendants do not listen to a single thing I say, even though I don't think I've even mentioned that in the past. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and continue our sightseeing here and probably start pulling up right now. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I really got to start shaking the plane there to see if there's a wake. You know, sometimes the plane does start falling asleep on you. You really got to be prepared for situations and scenarios like that. As you can see to the left or port side of the plane, you can see a ton of coal and random like specks. It looks like there's just moles all over. So this is actually pollution. This is, um, I think it's coal or something. I don't know, to be honest with y'all, but it's, it's pretty interesting. One day I might have to just go over here and just mine it all and cash it out for myself here. And maybe I could upgrade a plane if we do that. I don't know. This one's pretty neat though. Can y'all sit down back there? Uh, okay, whatever. Holy cow. As you can see, the waves are starting to pick up. Let's just go ahead and act like we're preparing for a water landing here once again, because the water will not always be the same um, amount of waves here, as you can see. So we got a big old little patch right here. Okay, let's actually not crash. Oh, wow. I think we actually have a larger wave here. So, um, yep, as expected, there are some larger waves here in life. This is a pretty big one right here. Is this really? Oh, wow. Yep, that's really big. Okay, so if you guys see any of these things around, I love to go sightseeing around them. So you'll probably see them, honestly, once a flight. But um, we're going to go ahead and just fly near it. Do not do emergency landings in front of where it's going because it will not end well for you. We're just going to say I accidentally did that and I'm um, trying to survive a sinking plane survival. That was a crazy video. Go check that out. As you can see here, the poor wildlife is just getting destroyed in front of our own two eyes. And this entire mining facility right here is just about to get decimated, which I'm totally fine with. Um, they are so annoying. They've tried suing me multiple times, y'all. And they're talking about me polluting the ground. Like, what are you guys talking about? You guys are polluting everything here. But as you can see, all those poor miners in the under underground caves are just totally getting flooded out right now. So I'm fine with that. Yep, we're good. We're just going to continue our flight here. Act like we didn't see any of that. Oh, that's amazing. So my hometown right here is about to get just demolished. Um, Let's see. Do you think we have enough time to land and save some people? You know what? I'm sure I can make it work. I'm sure I can make it work here. We're going to start our landing here. Flight attendant, prepare for landing. Uh, here we go. Okay, we've landed. That was a pretty good landing, not going to lie. Uh, all right, hopefully everyone's on board. Taking off, full throttle. Go, go, go. It's not taking off. Oh, oh no, my house, my shack of 250 years is gone. Flight attendants, this is all your fault. You guys should have helped me board our passengers, and now we have a lot of people dead. Well, I mean, we're not the Coast Guard yet. I mean, you know, we could switch into the Coast Guard really fast. I'm just going to throw that out there. Like, if I want to be the Coast Guard for a day, we're going to be the Coast Guard for a day. But as you can see, we're just cruising the tsunami right here. This is actually really fun. Oh. Okay, let's try touching the water. This may or may not be a really, really good idea. Okay, um, I don't know how close I should get. As you can see, this is our lovely runway here that's about to just get swallowed by this tsunami. Same with this docking area we're pretty familiar with. That's actually where we build the warship at. Here we go. Okay, we didn't touch it. That's fine. I don't want to touch that. And then if we look to behind us, that's actually a debris of a ship I sunk a while back. Oh, man. As you can see, it's starting to look absolutely beautiful out here, ladies and gentlemen. This is when we will actually let it be clear no matter if i'm descending or uh, ascending you guys can stand up whenever you feel like it to be honest to go to the bathroom uh please prepare though in the bathroom we have a really bad toilet issue so if i actually like pull down like this water toilet water will splash all in your face and trust me there's a special chemical in that toilet water that you do not want to know about so please be careful close your eyes and mouth when i do start angling down which is totally unexpected so have fun taking a guess when i actually do it anyways i want to see if we can do a reverse loopy loop so anyone in the bathroom 
bathroom right now is basically getting a double splash in the face here. Oh, this is going to get close. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I wonder what's going on in that bathroom there. Anyone in the bathroom? Probably. Okay, not my problem. And by the way, you guys are the flight attendants, so you guys will be cleaning that bathroom afterwards. I'm pretty sure that's what the, the flight attendants clear, clear, like clean the plane, right? Um, Well, it's my Atlanta. Yes, y'all clean the plane. Y'all do everything here, basically. Matter of fact, y'all are doing the next maintenance checkup because we do not have enough like money to be hiring an engineer. Holy cow, it is really flooding down there. Look at the water. Oh, wow. Oh, that's bad. Uh, I don't know if it's glitching or that's just me, but uh. ladies and gentlemen, I'm actually feeling a slight throttle imbalance here. So as you can see, we're starting to turn, even though I'm not turning at all in that direction. Wait, hold on a second. I'm starting to see like the, the propeller actually going slower on the left. You guys notice that too? Uh, okay. You know, we might just need to turn around here. Flight attendants, please get in brace position. Oh my gosh. Uh, get passengers in brace position too, y'all. This isn't looking too good for us. Oh, uh, we're stalling. We're stalling. Okay. Get to the runway. The runway is a couple miles that way. I can see it. Oh, left engines just completely out on us. Come on. Come on. Save the darn thing. Yeah. Left engines just completely shut off. I mean, we are still flying though. This thing's doing a actually quite impressive job flying. I'm going to try angling this thing perfectly so it won't angle us up uh maybe something like this nope it's not good enough yeah i think we might just have to fly sideways okay that's fine at this time you guys can start walking around uh maybe in around like a minute here you might want to get back in your seat because we will be uh actually doing our landing here left engine has just completely gone out on us this is your captain speaking we do have an active emergency here fortunately oh wow oh we've just been struck by lightning <laughs> y'all it's fine don't worry about it oh wow uh breakers on 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 turn them on oh okay this is bad we're really in a bad situation right now I'm, we're flying towards the wind we're going like 20 miles an hour ground speed we need to get this thing landed y'all left engines at a total stop y'all the uh, flight attendants please prepare all passengers oh my gosh i'll look at these poor villages that are probably still dead from the tsunami earlier i don't know if we're gonna make it to the runway <laughs> we've really lost a lot of altitude here um let's see we do have a lot of roads near us so that is a, a good option we'll just say let's go ahead maybe try landing at one of these roads i can't control this thing what are we going is that a building okay let's not go towards that nope i'm not trying to be the next national threat we'll just say nope stop doing oh wow this yep this is about when issues will start to happen that's fine y'all it's fine oh that was a bad landing that was rough that was pretty rough y'all engines are going runaway everybody start the evacuation process everybody evacuate the aircraft evacuate the aircraft open the emergency exits you guys should have already oh gosh we've just been struck by lightning again i can't walk through this stupid hallway it's not big enough okay uh close this door here uh, and then open this one right here all righty your captain has escaped the aircraft what are the flight attendants doing what am i paying for right or i'm not paying for i guess this is basically free out of my pockets but what are you guys doing in there i do not want you guys doing this during an actual flight come on everybody escape escape right now oh look i got flares for this reason everybody look we got lights out here come on it's not that scary there we go awesome why did they all like roll away okay that wasn't that nice well flight attendants i hope you guys did learn a lot of stuff today i personally as a captain did even though i'm not even supposed to be learning anything uh anyways thank you guys all for watching until the end of this video if you guys enjoyed be sure to go ahead and smash that subscribe button and if if you're going to be a flight attendant when you're older, be sure to go ahead and save this video to watch later as you will probably need it. Be sure to drop a comment on what your favorite part was and what video we should do next as I read all the comments. Enjoy the Discord. Link is in the description. But thank you guys all for watching. Until the end and goodbye.